Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Stargazer. Today it's time for a garden update. I've been quite busy planting some stuff, moving some stuff around. These are the uh, legumes from before, so don't mind them. We'll consider them weeds. But uh, let's jump into it. All right, we got some cucumbers and some uh, lettuces in between. The lettuce will obviously be ready a lot sooner. We got a row of zucchinis over here. I lost two already because I have very hungry birds who come here and pick on my poor plants. In fact, this cucumber just fell victim to one of the birds. Unfortunate, but eh, it happens. What are you going to do? So, right. So, in here, underneath here, uh, I just planted some, some potatoes. And then I have this uh, rectangle shape of uh, cucumbers. Here are even more cucumbers, but a different variety. Got a little strawberry plant over there. Some lavender. And here, I planted cucumbers along with sunflowers. So, they're growing here together. And over here, we got leek or onion, chilies, rucola, the last batch of the radishes, and the peas over there, my daughter's favorite snack. And as you can see here, this is why you don't want to be playing around with radishes for too long because they start bolting now and they get all kinds of weird shapes and uh, get a lot of green growth, which is completely useless to me. Over here we have edamame beans, tomatoes, a row of parsley, and then some more parsley dotted over here together with some more tomatoes. Over here we have lettuce, we still have uh, the spinach from before, and the beetroots. My goodness, they're getting, they're getting quite big, quite big. And they're maturing faster than I'm able to eat them. Um, so I have to come up with some more recipes for them to make them useful or pickle them. I love pickled. I love them pickled. In the raised beds, we have, what's that? Two more beetroots, some chard. Over here we have carrots and uh, marigolds, a few more radishes and over here, more rucola and then i have new trees if you're following me on instagram you would have seen this my air layering fruit trees um so if you if you don't know what air layering is it's basically you you propagate an entire branch of a tree into a new tree so you get a whole new tree within a couple of months instead of taking cuttings and having to wait several years. I put a link in the description. So we got the fig tree over here, lemon tree here. The old fig tree is looking as fantastic as ever. Got a lot of new growth. And this is where, where I propagated. I just cut it off here. We got new growth from here. It's all good, like as if nothing ever happened. Over here, I planted a cherry tree and it goes together with <clears throat> this cherry tree because they pollinate in between to make delicious fruit Oof. we got the old pear tree over here so last year i literally got one or two pears and that's because of negligence and the pandemic uh, but now, but now, I got plenty of blossoms coming here. Got more blossoms over here. So hopefully there'll be more fruit. I cleaned up around the trunk. I had a lot of vegetation growing there. I'll show you a before and an after. I'll do that in editing, I guess. But so yeah, this is the the old pear tree that hasn't been loved for a very long time and i pruned it properly took good care of it and i've been watering all the trees a lot more not just frequently but more regularly compared to last year because last year it was difficult one week you were able to travel the next week you couldn't and you were stuck at home for a whole month or two and there was nothing to do about it here we have a new pear tree up there up there is a walnut tree 
over here we've got a peach tree and these are all new planted from just uh, a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago and this is the poor citrus that was on the other side of the garden that had been planted inside a rather small hole in a concrete bed it wasn't doing very well i didn't know what was going wrong i finally dug it up and the roots were suffering because they couldn't get anywhere because of all the concrete moving on over here uh, this is a, a plum tree also new planted and finally a newly planted apple tree that's about it the garden is expanding ever so slowly i'm really enjoying the process and the experiments that i've been doing and all the stuff i've been learning from charles dowding man if you don't know who charles dowding is he's the godfather of gardening in my opinion so <laughs> uh yeah that's about it let me show you the uh the air layering process and the results and what i was doing with that and then i'm gonna sign off do you remember the episode when I was doing some air layering? I did the uh, fig tree as well as the lemon tree. Um, the fig tree didn't turn out that fantastic because it wasn't sealed as much as it should be. When I opened it, um, the soil was kind of dry, which it shouldn't be. It needs to be moist and humid for the roots to, uh, to develop. But I had some tiny roots, so I ended up putting it uh, down there. It's going to rest in the shade. In, in very damp soil hopefully those roots are gonna uh, take take shape take form and uh, hopefully the tree will survive however check out the lemon despite the fact that it was as poorly uh, done as as the other one as the fig tree um, it actually has uh, a root ball so now I'm gonna cut this off right here put this in a pot and let it rest for a couple of months until I plant it out or in this case it might be in fall cool right so before we have one tree but now we have two trees can you hold it here two lemon trees can you hold it so it doesn't drop um yeah where? i'll pull it down for you up there. yeah okay Got one it. two three yay mm -hmm. this is our lemon tree okay i think i'll wrap it up right there i just wanted to give you a quick update uh, regarding the garden so you can see what it looks like later in summer hopefully green lush and full of goodies to eat i'll see you next time take care bye